Good afternoon. Got some news on Jaden Sancho, apparently. Yeah, it's just a, a where we stand with Jaden Sancho. Um, one of the sagas of last summer, one of the sagas it's turning mm. out to be this summer as well. Uh, this is where we stand. First bid from Manchester United a couple of weeks ago was worth around £75 million, mm -hmm. £67 million up front, plus £8 million in add-ons, rejected by Borussia Dortmund. Yep. Then we reported on Saturday on Sky Sports News of a second offer that had gone in by Manchester United, worth a little over £75 million, but more up front, plus achievable add-ons, achievable add-ons, okay. in, in the form of appearances, gold, maybe even silverware as well. Now... That bid, we understand, is still under consideration. So it hasn't been accepted, it hasn't been rejected by Borussia Dortmund, but the noises coming out of Germany suggest that Dortmund will not budge on what we believe to be around £82 million, of which most of that they want front-loaded and the rest in these achievable add-ons. Now, if you remember last summer, Dortmund set a deadline for a deal to be done mm. and they wanted £108 million. Manchester United were not willing to pay £108 million and they, weren't, want, they didn't want to be subject to any kind of deadline as far as Dortmund are concerned. This time it seems a little bit more relaxed. There's no public declaration of a deadline. But it is thought that Dortmund will want this sorted one way or another by July the 23rd. Why July the 23rd? Mm. That's when they will go on a pre-season training camp. And that's the deadline that they sent last summer as well because they were going on a pre-season uh, training camp then as well. The other interesting side of this is that Borussia Dortmund are now actively looking for replacements for Jadon Sancho. A couple of names that have been mentioned to me, Noni Madweki, PSV Eindhoven forward, okay. was a Tottenham youth player as well. And he has qu is quoted to have been honoured to be linked with Borussia Dortmund. Mm. Now, the, the interesting thing here is Marco Rose is going to be the new Borussia Dortmund manager. He actually wanted to sign Noni Madweki when he was manager at Borussia Mönchengladbach. Ah. So there is, a, as a, yeah. there is a link there. Another player they're looking at is Daniel Marlon, who's in the Dutch squad. He's also at PSV Eindhoven. He had a, a youth career at Arsenal as well. So a couple mm. of players at Tottenham and Arsenal have let go and have gone to PSV Eindhoven. Those are two of the players that Borussia Dortmund are looking at if and when they sell Jadon Sancho. With all of this in mind, there appears to be a, a growing confidence potentially that a deal can be struck this summer compared to last summer. Why is that? Michael Zork, the sporting director at Borussia Dortmund, had said earlier on in the summer that there's a gentleman's agreement in place with Jaden Sancho. I love Sancho. the gentleman's agreement. Exactly. What is that gentleman's what agreement? What does it actually mean? <laughs> exactly. Well, it is that if under certain conditions are mm. met, then Jaden Sancho will be allowed to leave. Those certain conditions look likely to be that fee. And it's not much of a change from last summer okay. if you look at it, because if Manchester United don't meet that valuation, then Dortmund will say, look, he will end up staying. But it just seems this time that there's a willingness from all parties, from the Sancho side, from the Dortmund side, and from the Manchester United side, to try and get this deal done, mm. and done sooner rather than later.